This is class 39 in my arithmetic course, the final class of the course. Today we're going to learn how to calculate your final grade for the course. Now some people are going to say, I don't believe in grades. I don't want to give myself a grade. Or if you're a parent homeschooling your kid, you're, you might think, well, I, we're not going to, I'm not going to grade my child. I'm not going to give him a grade. That's cruel. Well, you need to give yourself a grade. You need to understand how you, you would perform in a math course, yeah, uh, it's not it's not cruel. It's just you're you're telling yourself uh, whether or not you know the material. If you uh, only scored a, a 500 in this course, then that means you didn't learn the material. And if you took a math course, you would fail the course. So don't tell me that uh, you don't need to give yourself a grade. And you know grades are not important or they're cruel. Grades are going to tell you how you would perform in a course. So don't take that attitude, you know, we don't, we don't believe in grades or we don't, we're not going to grade. No, you, you are go going to get a grade. You're going to give yourself a grade. Now, if you're a parent that is concerned that your child's grade might hurt his or her confidence, don't be concerned about that. Math courses are much, much more difficult than uh, most other courses. And your child needs to understand the amount of effort that goes into a uh, any particular math course and if your if your child doesn't do well if your child gets an F or a D then that teaches the child a very important lesson that he or she is going to have to put in much much more effort to uh, pass pass this course or any other math math course if you're a parent or a student that doesn't have a lot of experience with math then you may be very very surprised to find out how much effort it takes to pass this math course or any other math course and I just want to make it very clear that just about every math course you're going to take out there is going to be uh, pretty challenging it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of effort to pass uh, the course much more effort than other courses or mo most other courses so don't react negatively to this just take it as a a, a lesson that the that you're gonna to have to uh, really put in uh, a large amount of effort to, to pass your math courses and you can't you can't get out of your math courses if you're going to succeed in the academic world math is the most important subject other than English and that's just how the academic system works you may disagree with that you may think well I think other subjects are important but it doesn't it doesn't matter what you think this is just how the academic world works math and English are the most important subjects so don't be afraid that uh, you're, you're going to uh, hurt your, your confidence, or if you're a parent, that you're going to hurt your child's confidence. Uh, the grade is an extremely important tool to, to show where you need to go uh, from this point. So this is the, uh, the point breakdown. So the homework is going to be worth 400 points, and we did four exams. Those are each going to be worth 100 points for a total of 400 points. And then we have, have the final exam worth 200 points. So let me show you how to calculate your, your grade. So let's give an example. Let's say that I, let's say you should have done all the homework, all of it, and it should be all correct. But let's say that I got lazy and I did some of it uh, in a way that doesn't really deserve full credit. Maybe I didn't do all of it. Maybe I was messy, so on and so forth, so you'd only get 300 points. And let's say that I got uh, a 78 on the first exam, and an 82 on the, on the second exam, and a 52 on the third exam, and a 91 on the fourth exam. And let's say that you scored 155 on the final exam. All right, so what you're going to do is add up all these numbers. So I'm going to get out my calculator for that because it's late in the night and I'm tired. I'm just going to use my calculator. So we add up all those numbers and we get 758. So add them all up and you get 758. So uh, that's going to be your score for the uh, course. And there's a total of 1,000. So it's 758 out of a thousand. So if you scored uh, 900 to a thousand, 
that is that would be typically uh, that would be considered uh, an A. That's how we do it in the in the United States. If you're in a different country, you might grade differently, but that's that's the optimal grade is an A, and anywhere from uh, 800 to 899 is a B, and I think you get the point. So if you did what I what I told you to do in this class and you studied and you took the the uh, the, the course seriously, then there's no reason that you uh, shouldn't have passed the uh, the class. Now it's extremely important to understand that if you didn't pass the class the, the the course, if you if you got a D or an F uh, in these categories down here, 99% of the time the reason that you didn't pass the course is because you were lazy. It's not because you're stupid. It's not because you're you're not smart enough to do the material. It's it was because you were lazy. You didn't take the class seriously. So, uh, but anyway, that's that's the breakdown. An A means that you know the material really really well. A B means that you know the material, but you just have a few minor things to work on. A C means that you know the material, but you've got uh, quite a few things to to uh, work on. And of course, anything less than that. And uh, you need to uh, go back and, and learn the material and, and uh, figure out how to do the problems and just get more practice. So that's, that's how to calculate your grade for the course. So if you pass the class, I'm proud of you. That means that you have uh, all the tools you need to go on to the, ne the next class, which is pre-algebra. You've accomplished something really important because uh, you're ready to go on to pre-algebra, which is basically an algebra course. You're done with uh, the major concepts in arithmetic. So you should celebrate. You should uh, do whatever you want to do to celebrate. You can take a break. I would suggest taking a, at least a two-week two week break, but probably no more than a, a, a one-month break. So anywhere between two weeks and a month. Of course, you can go directly into the next course if you want to, but if you're moving at the pace that I told you to move at, then uh, that is two classes per week, then you might be a little tired. So uh, you can take two weeks or, or four weeks, but then after that, you can, you're going to need to go straight into pre-algebra. So uh, if you passed, good job. Now for the people that didn't pass the course, I have some advice for you for what you can do from this point on. But if you did pass the course, um, I want to uh, mention uh, what you should do with your binder if you did pass the exam. Uh, if you uh, followed my directions, then you should have an organized binder of all the work that you've done in this class, or this course. And uh, you should have all your homework assignments. You should have all the practice exams and the actual the, the exams you were scored on. And uh, so all you have to do is put your final exam in order in that binder. And I, like I mentioned, it should be a three-ring binder, and all the, the, the pages should be uh, 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 hole-punched and whatnot. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that, uh, that binder, and you're going to put it in your closet, and you're going to keep it for the rest of your life. Again, that binder is the, the absolute proof that you uh, learned this material, and you, and you took this course. So then uh, when you uh, take the next course, pre-algebra, you're going to have a binder for that course, and you're going to put that binder with your arithmetic binder, and then you're going to take in beginning algebra, <coughs> beginning, beginning algebra, which is the course after pre-algebra, then you're going to have a binder for that course, and you're going to have, that's all of your, your, your proof that you learned this uh, material. Um, so uh, again, if you, if you passed the, the course, good job. I'm really proud of you. Celebrate take a break and uh, you don't need to watch the the rest of this class by the way I just want to mention to find the pre-algebra course you just go to uh, the same website that you, that you found this course and go to the the the, uh, the uh, playlist where it says pre-algebra and after you've had your two-week or three-week break or however however long of a break you're gonna take then you just start uh, watching classes and on to the next uh, course so uh, I'll see you there but if you didn't uh, pass the exam, 
uh, I have some advice for you, but those who did pass the exam, you, you, can, uh, uh, you don't have to watch the, the rest of this uh, video. Now, the people that didn't pass the exam, uh, you need to understand that uh, all the other students that pass the exam, they're going on to the next, the next course, but you're not. You're going to have to uh, go back over this material again and again and again until you learn it, and you're really just going nowhere. It's going to get really boring because you're just going to be going over the same material over and over and over and over again. It's, it's really dangerous to do that because you're going to start to lose interest in what you're doing. You're going to be stuck in the, in the mud. It is just really uh, horrible to have to just take the, uh, the, just do this, do this material and never get to the point where you go on to the next stage of your math uh, curriculum. So you don't want to be stuck for too long. So make sure that you, you uh, and again, if, if you didn't do well in this class, it's because you didn't follow my directions. You didn't study, uh, you didn't do the homework completely and correctly. You didn't study for the exams. You have to do that in order to pass a math course. I know that you're thinking, well, I, I can find a way to pass the course without doing that. No, you can't. No one in the history of mankind has ever passed a math course without doing the homework completely and correctly and um, or at least doing most of the homework and 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 studying for the exams the only way that you could possibly do that is by cheating it's not possible any other way nobody in the history of mankind has ever done that don't 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 say that you can do that because you can't it's impossible so uh, now that you know that you, that uh, you really do have to do the homework and study for the exams you have to go back and now you have to actually do that but I'll tell you something, you better hurry up because, like I said, being stuck in the same course is going to get really boring and you're going to start to lose motivation. You need to go on to pre-algebra and you need to get there fast. All right, so you need to get this stuff done and, uh, and, and go on to the, to, to, the, to the next course. So I'm going to give you some advice about what you can do at this point because obviously you can't just retake uh, the, same, the, the, the same material, retake the same... Uh, uh, exams because you've already taken the exams you need some way to figure out whether or not you know the material you can go back and study the homework but you're going to need to uh, create your own exam so this is what you can do so what you can do is you can uh, buy a, te uh, a used textbook and use a used arithmetic textbook and uh, what you can do is you can just uh, you can try to uh, create another test by going through the the, the book and looking at the odd problems and, and doing odd problems from each chapter and then checking the answers to those problems and you can just keep retaking the test over and over again as, as, much, as, as much as you need to but again don't just retake a test unless you study for it you know keep doing more and more problems until you get to the point where you actually know the material again if you if you didn't pass the the uh, the course it was probably because you were lazy so um, that's what you can do um, as far as this course. Uh, it's not really, it's, it's really going to make sense to just keep taking the same uh, test over and over again because that's not a realistic measure of what you know in the class or in the course. Uh, it doesn't make sense to go back over things over and over again. Uh, you, can, you can go to the classes and the, and the tests and you can take them again and again but eventually you're going to have to get more problems outside of this uh, course. So that's why I'm suggesting you buy a textbook and do the odd problems because usually odd problems have the answers in the back of the book, even problems don't. So then once you uh, pick random problems from, from the, the book and you check your answers and you know that you, uh, you uh, can do almost almost all the problems or pretty much all the problems or at least 70 percent of the problems in the entire textbook then you know you're ready to go on to pre-algebra if you score below 700 that's your goal and try to get it done fast get it done in the next you know week or two it just depends on how seriously you took this course do you know most of the material maybe you know half of the material then it's only it should only take you maybe uh, uh, you know two three four weeks to, to catch up and get all that the rest of the material down if you're really quick you might be able to get you might you might, you might be able to learn uh, the material that you didn't study in maybe a couple days or, or, or a week so get that get 
get that done as quickly as possible because you want to go to the next course. You don't want to be stuck in this course for an indefinite uh, period of time. So that said, uh, that's the end of this course, and uh, I'll see you in the next course, pre-algebra. And the next course is going to be on the same, uh, the same uh, website, whatever it is, YouTube or whatever it is. It's going to be uh, uh, on a, a different, you just go to a different playlist, and it's going to have the course title, and you just go to that course where it says pre-algebra, and you just go to the playlist and start watching the classes, and I'll look forward to seeing you there.